Okay, guys, this is readworks.org. When you guys first go in, you're going to have to sign up. I already have my account, so let me get that going in. Let me get in. Okay, I'm going to close this. It's just they're giving webinars on how to use it if you need to. You can click and sign up. I basically know how to use it, so I'm going through. Okay, to first get up your classroom. You're going to do class admin. You're going to create a class. You're going to import from Google. It'll pull up all your Gmail accounts. You pull the one that we're using, the schools. You pick a class to import. The only class I have left open is speech and language. Otherwise, Y51 would be showing up. But I already created them in this program. So they're not showing up. So you'll click your class. And then after that, you're going to put what grade the class average is. So that way it tries to send you assignments based on that uh, class grade average. And then make sure this stage text. You're going to publish assignments to Google Classroom by default. All right. After this, import class would line up and you're going to hit that. I'm canceling out. Then to find content for your kids. What I like to do is you go to the side, you pick the grade level. If you want photo responses for your question sets, I recommend from the kindergarten level. So let's we'll start from here for our low groups. Start with K. We're going to look for question sets. So I'm checking out off. And I try to go for nonfiction. So we have like cooking with a cookbook. We click it. You have the audio available. By Readworks. It will have a question set. See, they have the pictures oriented towards our kids that need the picture um, support base. So when you go to assign it, you click assign. We, you have to check off the audio if you want the pro, if you want the story to be read to them. We will go to Y51. This is my one for Google Classroom. Automatically here, click off, publish to Google Classroom stream. It'll automatically pump, come up with a date, a due date. You're welcome to change it any time. If you want to do specific students, you can click that and check, check off who in your class will be assigned that specific thing. If you have a large amount of students, you can just do a preset group and you can set that all up in there in the settings. Okay, I'm going to try and get one with a vocabulary set. So, vocabulary activities. So I'm going to check this one and show you guys. This one comes with vocabulary. So there's children that if they don't know the um, content specific vocabulary, they can look it up. It comes available to them. It will read it to them. It will read them the meanings and the example sentences. The question sets also with the answers will be available for uh, audio play. So here, we're going to assign it. I'm going to click audio and the vocabulary words. Now, if you want your children to play around with an activity for vocabulary for these certain words that come up, like attack and country, we you can do that. I'm going to check it off and show you. So I am going to my class, Y51. I want it for the whole class. Publish to Google Stream and assign. Let that load up and I'll show you what it looks on our side now. Press OK. Google Classroom, let's redo this. Now you will see I have Readworks from Cleopatra. I'm going to edit it. Make sure that it comes through ungraded. You can change the due date if you need. You can put it onto the topic that you want. I'm going to place it on the ELA. All right. This comes up as sign into Google accounts because my computer has various Google accounts on. If they're automatically in their student um, Google account, it should automatically be able to go through right through the page. I am going to transfer to my sample student account I have on there to make sure everything works. So here I go as my fake student. I'm going to log into my class. I'm going to go to classwork. Okay, let's go. This is what it looks for, like for the student. So view assignment. All right, I didn't put in any directions, forgot to do that, but please click the link. And now Reworks is going to 
Brie put me out because, like I said, I'm already signed in through my teacher account, but I'm trying to access through the student. Which one did I put it on there? Give me a second, guys. This one. So automatically it puts me through. I can listen to it because I checked off audio. Vocabulary, I can play around. Questions. Cleopatra was the queen of Egypt. I can play. There are also on now the two vocabulary activities for attack. Please say the word attack out loud. Students should answer out loud. Please write the word attack. It makes them use it, attack in various forms. Look at the pictures below. Which one shows attack? Draw a picture. But it makes them orient towards the word that's specific to the content. So we submit our questions. When the kids are done, they'll click through their next. And then they'll hit out submit. Nine unanswered questions. Submit anyway. All right. Log out. And just so you know, let me sign back in as teacher on the DO on the classrooms. And now this is what it will look like on our side. Classwork. I will go to Cleopatra view assignment. Stu from instructions to this page, you're going to click to student work and it'll show turned in, assigned. Okay, turned it in. And I'll play around, but there's a way that you should be able to see their answers automatically in this page. So at least this will get it up on the website for you. And I'll work on the next issue. Okay, guys, thanks for dealing with me. Bye.